Evan Bland. Hey Joe, nice win today. Uh, I guess just generally, can you can you speak to the offense? How much fun it is to be a part of it, and just kind of what goes into being di as diverse as you guys have been today? Yeah, I I think we knew going into today's game that they were going to be, you know, or their their Friday guy was going to be, you know, upper nineties. So, you know, we knew we were going to have to scratch some across the board and. And kind of like I said a couple of weeks ago in my interview, like one through nine, you know, <clears throat> we never, you never know who's going to get the job done. And it's just kind of passing it on to the next guy. And when you have the utmost belief in all your guys, one through nine, I mean, it's, it's pretty dang fun. Can you walk us through that, that sequence where you pull the bunt back and double down the third baseline? I mean, was that uh, instinctual on your part? Was that part of the plan? How did that come about? So, we had actually seen on film that they were running um, kind of like this, I don't know what you want to call it, like wheel bunt coverage play. So we had been practicing that this week. Um, I actually shouldn't, I should have bunted it. Uh, I should have waited for the first baseman to charge, but I ended up getting a good pitch and I pulled back and, you know, exactly how we practiced, just kind of, you know, hammered into the ground at one of the corners and um, it worked out in my favor, I'd say. Chris Bassinet. Joe, you kind of mentioned it already, but how important was it to scratch across that run on the top of the first when, like you said, that their guy comes out throwing, you know, mid nineties and now all of a sudden you've got a little cushion, maybe got him thinking a little bit. Yeah. I think on a Friday night, you know, you know, you're going to get their best guy and we're going to give you our best guy. And so every run matters. And, you know, we may, we might've only won that game one to zero and that might've been the winning run. You know, you never know. Um, but my job as a leadoff hitter, like I've tried to do all year is just get on base and then have Jackson move me over. And um, his bat was just as crucial as mine um, getting that sack fly. And I don't know how many pitches that was, but it was incredible. And then Spencer just being Spencer is going to get me in. I don't have any doubt there. Um, Michael Bronx. Joe, it's, it kind of seemed like you guys were still having good at bats, but not a ton to show for it early on. I mean, what was kind of the message, I guess, in the dugout as you guys got into the fifth, sixth inning there against their starter? I think we knew once he came out throwing, you know, upper 90s, we were going to have to be, you know, on time and above it, which we always preach. But um, I don't think we, we predicted him being 96, 97 that first inning. So um, I think kind of the second time through the order, guys – you know, we're seeing it a little bit better. Obviously, Bryce Matthews was seeing the ball really well today. Had, you know, almost three home runs today. Um, but, but yeah, we just – the game plan, I guess, after the first few innings from Coach Bolt was, you know, stick to what we're doing and, you know, dominate the fastball, hit it the other way if you have to, and, and just react to the off speed. Back to Evan Bland. Kind of what the – the snowball effect is when the offense is rolling. I mean, one guy is stealing the base, you guys advance runners, you get someone home. What, what's that like in the dugout or on the base paths as this thing just starts to take off as the game goes on? Yeah, it's contagious, if anything. I mean, if there's one thing I know playing baseball for as long as I have, hitting is definitely contagious and and good offense is contagious. And, and we can beat you in so many ways. We're so athletic that, you know, we can, we can beat you with bunts. I mean, our our three hole Spencer was dropped down an absolutely beautiful bunt. I don't think they were ready for that. I mean, but just, you know, so many um, abilities for guys one through nine to, that they can do that were pretty dangerous when we're all clicking. All right. One more for Joe, Michael Bruns. Hey Joe, without you guys having these midweek games this year, I mean, is it, tough or easier i guess to kind of be more dialed in for friday games it seems like you guys just right from the get-go in these games have been really just kind of ready to go i guess yeah i think you're you're antsy to get going on friday just because you haven't played in in almost a week but i think there's benefits too um for us that you know i'm an older guy I get a little bit more rest and and not having to play midweeks but i definitely miss being able to play those creighton uno k-state games so um, obviously I won't be able to, you know, get that experience as I'll be, as this is my last year, but, um, 
I'm excited for those younger guys to experience those midweeks next year. Okay, that's it for Joe. We'll have uh, Coach Bold on here in a second.